Hello, welcome to the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. You can't see me because it's bloody massive. Look at the size of the thing. In fact, I reckon it's about five paces long and that's very big. The front has clearly taken a design from the Phantom. It's sort of smaller big brother. It's the same size as the Phantom in length, but obviously a lot higher and a lot more jacked up. It's a proper off-roader this, as you can see from the dirt on the side of the car that we've been getting. We have been taking it a little off the beaten track and it is designed to do that. Um, they've been very fussy about actually making it a capable off-road car. It's not just something to show, it's, it's actually capable off-road. So it sits on 22 inch wheels, which obviously you could have a few different options. Paints in as many options as you want. You can de-chrome, I, like, I mean, this is what we would do at Premier Sports. We would have a black car, black grills, black wheels, black windows, de-chrome, and it's a totally different animal. And that's the one that you're gonna wanna buy. But as far as uh, a vehicle is concerned, it's pretty amazing. So when you're done with your scotch, you can put it away, fold away your infotainment screen and picnic table, step out, press the button there, it closes itself because you don't want to expel any energy of your own. Get in the front and see what it's like to take it for a drive. Right, so this is, I mean, this is probably about the level of off-roading that the average Cullinan owner is going to do. A gravel track out in the countryside, maybe they're going to a shoot, maybe they're just going for a stroll, or, uh, I mean, I wouldn't like to say what they're up to. But um, it copes with this just fine, potholes all over the place and it still rides like a Rolls-Royce should. Um, we're in the maximum off-road setting. Ah, now you see, you're in a van. So you're gonna have to go backwards. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't, this woman has the sternest face I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. I'm probably gonna go backwards. <laughs> Excuse me, just because I'm richer than you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is about as good, this is about as off-roady as most people are gonna get. Um, and it's perfect, I mean, it's, it's the same as a Range Rover, really, off-road, for, for this sort of off-roading. I don't know who's going to climb a mountain with it, so really, do you need it any better? Probably not. So, let's see what it's like on the road as we head off into the sunset. So we waft away into the distance. Okay, so as we waft down the road in complete silence, powered by a 6.75 litre twin turbocharged V12, um, there's not really a lot to say about it. I mean, it's supremely quiet, it's extremely comfortable, extremely refined. I've got to say, this heated seat arrangement is extremely warm. It's like being heated by a Victorian fireplace, which is also like you would expect in a Rolls Royce. So the Cullinan name comes from the largest flawless diamond ever discovered. So they obviously think a lot of this car at Goodwood, otherwise they wouldn't have called it that. You know what, going through these twisty bits of road here, it actually handles pretty well. I mean it does wallow around a little bit but not in a bad way it's not it wafts maybe not wallows maybe that's not the right term it wafts around corners and you don't really feel anything on the air suspension it's just so smooth and so quiet um, it's double glazing all the way around in this car there's actually a sheet of double glazed glass between the rear seats and the boot so when your butler is in the boot faffing around getting your golf clubs out, you can't hear him. And also, it means that if there's any dead bodies in the boot that you might have stuffed in there, 
you don't get the aroma of them coming through to the cabin which would certainly ruin your day. So in the boot it's enormous so you can fit whatever you like in there. Um, it's a proper split folding tailgate as well which is actually incredibly handy for sitting on maybe you're out in the countryside and you want to put some wellies on you can perch on your your split folding tailgate and uh, and put them on um, there's also a viewing lounge option which is about a twenty thousand pound option which a couple of seats fold out and slide out the back and you can sit there with a little cocktail table and park on the end of whatever magnificent uh, thing you're viewing and uh, enjoy a scotch out of the decanter in the back or maybe some champagne out of your fridge. They've really thought of everything in this. This car really does turn some heads driving down the high street now. It, um, yeah, people stop and look at this car. No one's seen one around yet, obviously, but it's um, very, very imposing. Most people seem to like it, apart from one woman just called me a knob. But apart from her, most people seem to like it. So Phantom is about the same sort of money, a little bit more. They start at 400-ish. This is gonna be between 250 and 350, maybe up to 400, depending on spec. Um, and I think this is nicer, even though it's cheaper than the Phantom. The Phantom's the same length, but you're, you're sat lower down. So it feels like such a huge car. Uh, that doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense. It does make sense to me. Because you, when you're sat up higher, you feel like you, you know where your extremities are in the car. But in the Phantom, you're sat lower, but it's the same length of car. So you don't really know where you are. So you've got a better view of the road. So what does 563 Rolls-Royce horsepower feel like when you plant your foot? Let's try a 40 to 70 dash and see how we go. Brisk, very brisk. And it just sort of pushes you down the road. You're not pushed back in the chair and your head doesn't come off. It's just a quick way of moving along the road. And it's, again, what you'd expect. So I'd imagine the sort of people that buy this car have already got one or two other cars. Maybe they've got a Lamborghini in the garage. Maybe they've got a Ferrari. Something that's gonna really excite them and make loads of noise and the doors go up and it's brightly colored and that's not what this car is about. This car is about ultimate luxury and refinement. And when you've had a hard day in the office or a hard day on the training pitch, you can jump in the car and cruise on back to your mansion without making a fuss. It's just a really nice place to be. lovely place it is to be. I'm in my most relaxed position possible with a lovely padded headrest, seat reclined all the way back and it's amazing. Back here this car really stands out as something very 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 special indeed. Got a huge tablet style um, screen in front of me where you can do absolutely anything. You can send sat nav instructions to your driver and he'll just take you there or you can watch the TV, you can do whatever you like. Also in here, this is pretty cool. Well, there's a control center for that. You have a Rolls-Royce branded decanter here, and a little glasses. You have also a fridge with champagne flutes, and of course, your bottle of finest champagne, which you can then put in the holders down there. They've really thought of everything to make this a very luxurious place to sit in the back. Okay, so there it was, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. 
If you liked it, I certainly did, you need to get your orders in now because there's already a year long waiting list. You're looking towards the end of 2019 to get a car. Um, so yeah, get in touch and uh, yeah, let's build it.